we speak about Dzogchen, many times we speak, say mainly the mind. Many people think, oh, okay, Dzogchen is like natural mind, and that's it. No, you realize your natural mind, your, that is the Buddha nature, and that's it. This is all that needs to be done. And uh, many times, through that, they forget about the body, they forget about the energy. But if we are talking about uh, the natural mind without uh, the body, okay, it is, we are in this clear light and that's it. There's no identification with anything else than the clear light. This is good. But for my understanding, this is just the foundation. It's just the start. Because then we have this matter here, that is the physical matter, composed of five elements. And every cell contains some memories karmic stress, the tiles inside the body, inside the channels, uh, carry karmic memories that needs to be released, you know. Uh, it is good when we are in a natural state, we don't generate any more karma, but still we have many karmas that are uh, anchored inside the physical matter. And if we don't uh, practice uh, physical practice like uh, inner yogas or working with the inner channels, it's very really hard to liberate those memories, you know. And we are almost get into this transcendental state, and the body becomes unhealthy. We get fat, and we get like this. Like you see many, uh, many people like this, you know. They don't look after it. They just say the mind. Okay, the mind. I am in my dreams. I can be in a, in a natural state. I recognize the clear light. I can recognize the clear light in different situations in my life, but that's not enough. If this clear light is, a, if you allow yourself to go into deep inside the physical matter and work with the energy, then the memories, coming memories, coming traces are starting to appear in front of you. You realize them, you have a secondary cause for them to be. It's like when we do the 15 and 7 veils, we are creating a secondary cause for the different planes of existence. And now we relate with those planes, whatever is between this clear light that we are and this secondary cause, we start to manifest. And when this manifests, we can liberate it. But if we don't do that work and we just stay with the clear light, it's and not acknowledging as much the body then it doesn't happen so easily. Especially if you, we live a, a, a life away from people. We are not exposed to other circumstances. You know, this is the beauty when you are living a, in, a, in a sacred couple relationship. You are creating all those potentiality all the time. You are confronted with the mirror all the time. That is amplified through the other person. And well, this is a secondary cause for you to see those kind of stresses arising. Now, what do you do? You approach in Dzogchen, let them self-liberate. Or otherwise, you go back into them and generate more karma. You know? Or otherwise, you recognize but you are not able to self-liberate. So then you apply uh, transformation. Okay, that's all I have to say for today. Thank you. Thank you, Daya.